What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. My name is Unreal ENT Network, and joining me here today is my good friend Jessica from Les Mis World, everybody. And here Hello. today we're going to be talking about something very, uh, very interesting for me, at least. Um, now I just have one question for you. Just, just one very simple question. Do you believe in demons? Yes or no? Why? Oh my Lord Jesus Christ! Yes, I want to know. <laughs> what are your thoughts on on demons? Because it's just a very. To, interesting... Are you trying to scare me before I go to bed? <laughs> Am I trying to scare you before you go to, uh, well, yes. Damn it. <laughs> I mean, come on, just, just lay, lay it on to me. What, what do you think? Yes, I believe in demons. Why? Because they exist. <laughs> but, but why is it that you feel like they exist? Why is it that you think that there might be some sort of supernatural entity out there that's out for the, for all the very wrong reasons? Because I believe in evil that's out there, just like there's good, there's evil. Okay. Uh, does this evil that you believe in able to use people as conduits? Yes. Okay. Do you feel as if you might be vulnerable as a conduit? Mm. Well. Very picky because a, a lot, I, I've actually read an article where... Um, they were they were talking about demonology and they were talking about how uh, it is very skeptical how possession works because it it well the the actual entity picks its host and becomes sort of like a parasite infesting that person's body manifesting through it whether it be a man or a woman so that goes back to what I just said like do you feel as if you as an individual are not only susceptible to it but you feel as if could, not will, but could happen to a person like you? Or do you feel the opposite? Or do you feel as if, like, there's nothing that you can offer uh, as an individual if you were possessed that could benefit that entity's ghost-seeing, I suppose? Well, according to what I know about possession and whatnot, um, see, it all comes down with... I, damn, what a topic you picked. <laughs> well, I mean, what? What's the matter? You getting nervous? Now that I'm getting nervous, it's just... Are your you palms know, sweaty? When when you start talking about stuff like this and religion and all this stuff, people tend to go, like, crazy. You got the atheists coming out, attacking oh, you. Oh, I mean, hey, people that, that, that's everything coming out I mean, like, And listen, attacking you, and it's just No, no, like, no, no, it's not about attacking. Listen, I, I will be the first one to sit here and say, yeah, so what? I believe in a magical spaghetti monster. If I die... And there is no God. That that that's completely fine. If I die and there's no God, I'll, I'll accept it and I'll, I'll I'll say somewhere out there I'll say to myself or I'll say out loud I was wrong. So what? But I'd rather believe that there is one because if I die and I'm proven otherwise, what can I possibly say to that to that being about my belief on it being not non-existent? You know what I'm saying? So if I were to die and God is real, I'm, I'm not gonna sit there and boast. I'm just gonna be like, oh shit. Look at that. Well, you can't say, oh, shit. Well, you can't really say that, but I'll just be like, oh, snap of that. I was like, he's actually there. You know, but but if, if if there weren't a god, I'll still sit there and I'll be like, oh, okay, well, there wasn't one, so be it. But um, in, in terms of, like, something out of the paranormal, you know, like, because, uh, like, right, that, that, well, that is such a, a very taboo thing and it's very ominous because you really don't know too much about it, even though you th you, you might think you know like as much as but you, you don't know, but you don't know. So like again, do you think you as an individual are susceptible to something like that? Okay, well, when it comes to possession, it has to be someone that's vulnerable, vulnerable. and also and also um not okay not Vul vul vulnerability in terms of what? I'm about to explain right now. Okay. Um, see when okay. This is based off Christianity because okay, we can go based off Christianity. I don't want to get too crazy, but you know, if you have accepted Jesus and um, you're covered by the blood and all of that stuff, then um, the chances of you getting possessed are very slim because you are protected by Jesus. Now, that's the Christian point of view. Don't attack me, people. Okay. <laughs> So when it comes to possession, that's it, it, it leads to people who are weak in faith and who haven't really fully, truly accepted Jesus Christ in their heart. Uh, that's, that's what I believe. It 
could happen if uh, with demon possession. Because I don't know if you remember in The Conjuring. Oh God, The Conjuring! <laughs> You're really going to The Conjuring? Because I'm I, going I was there. Say one of I'm... my friends. No, go ahead, go on, finish your story. I'm going there. I mean, I don't know if this was a part where I was not really paying attention or I was covering my eyes and ears and stuff. But it's like um, when they came to visit the home, Ed and Lorraine, um, I don't know, I forgot, but I think there was a part where Lorraine was like, they're not believers. So this is like, so it will be hard. I don't know, something about, I don't know if you remember that part. About Mm. how Ed and Lorraine Warren was talking about the family, right? Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I, I just had a friend over the summer uh, i'll never forget it uh when she came by and she was talking to us she pretty much told us how she moved into uh a place in upstate with her friends and uh she was living with three other friends and uh there were things happening around the house that she couldn't really explain like certain items being gone from their you know resting place or the sofa being moved and stuff like that and come to find out that their house was actually built on a colonial burial ground, ground. Mm, <laughs> yeah, around oh, no. you know the colonial times, and there were the several colonial times were scary. The uh, yeah, and several spirits, or at least she claims, would were in that house, and um, I remember when she was talking to us about how one day they were all about to order, I think it was pizza or something, and as they were tra- talking to the pizza guy, like the phone was really staticky and whatever, whatever. And the power generator for the house just went completely out. Mm-mm. And all three of them had to go to the basement and turn it on. They mm. turned it on and whatnot. And uh, as they were down in the basement, you know, turning on the, the power generator, they heard running upstairs. Mm-mm. They heard running upstairs. And she told us that all of the members of the, ho- of the house were in the basement. And there was nobody in the house aside from them. But they legitimately heard like, like they, they actually heard from what she told me. It was something like this. It was, it was like running. It was like running all over the house. And when they went upstairs, they noticed that their phones were moved out of place. Like, they, uh, one, I think one of the girls' phones was charging. The next thing you know, the phone was unplugged from the wall and from the actual phone itself. Then she said that uh, when they were in the house or whatever, they were waiting for the pizza guy. They tried to turn on the TV. The TV wasn't working. And they heard uh, from what it seemed like. She, she heard like growling noises coming from the upstairs bathroom. And what they had to do the entire time was they had they actually left the house and they waited for the pizza man in front of the house the entire time, which is like an extra 15, 20 minutes. And then when the pizza guy got there and they got their pizza, they they kind of come they they kind of like conjured the courage to go back in the house. And when they went back in the house, uh, again the power generator was out. And when they walked in with their phones this time with the with the flashlights on, they kept hearing like running noises. They kept hearing like just sounds in the dark but there was nobody in the house and it, it sounded like people as she said and then at, at times it sounded like there was an animal in the house like really like 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 growling that you would never hear before and she actually showed me a little clip of them in the house or whatever and and there was one instance where i saw i swear to you i saw uh the couch like literally just shift a little bit and it was just scary as hell they had i mean they eventually moved out they all moved i think to providence rhode island um but that right there just pretty much, I mean, I, I do believe in demons as well, but sometimes, like sometimes, it gets kind of hard to even like conjure up the fact that if they're really out there, because if they are, are they watching you, but they can't do anything? Are they purposely or deliberately trying to throw uh, negative signs in your life in order for you to go down the wrong path? You know, so it, it's very interesting because I also saw a World Star video and I actually sent you a picture of, of that girl in oh, that good. ball with her neck. Like, it was just like, that was caught on security cameras, That's you know? Crazy. And there was one World Star video where uh, there was a guy, he went inside of a deli to get some fucking juice or something. And then out of nowhere, like, he just started spazzing out, like, twitching and all these things for, like, a good two minutes. And then the owner was looking at him like, what the hell? And then when he finally collapsed, the cereal boxes by themselves got knocked off the uh, the shelf. As if there was something there with him, and it just knocked over whatever whatever was there, and it was pretty crazy. I was like, "Whoa!" So, again, like, do you think like, do you think that like movies like The Conjuring or Annabelle or 
the devil inside me or whatever. Do you think like those kind of things can actually happen like yes. to ordinary people to like whoever they choose to happen to? Well, those movies were based, well, was it based on, yeah, based on a true story, no? Well, yeah, The Conjuring was, and so was Annabelle. Exactly. But again, like, could it happen today? Yeah. Could it happen I to know. you? I know. Could it happen, to, could it happen to Justin? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Justin will flip out. <laughs> I think Justin would probably call me. Yeah, yeah, bro, 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 bro. My, my sofa's friend. moving. My sofa's moving. I, I don't know, I brought your own, your own. <laughs> uh, I'm not a sofa expert, man. Mm-mm. But uh, let us it's know what a... you guys think in the comment section below about your thoughts on demons and if you guys think they exist or whatnot because people do have different opinions. So let us know what you guys think and don't forget to hit that video up with the like and the favorite. We hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, subscribe for all for all latest news information and updates. And uh, this has been Lay Miz World and myself signing out. We hope you guys enjoyed and we'll be seeing you all later, everybody. Take it easy. Bye. Peace.